Hey, you have been busy. What have you got a shank of sheep there? No, no, no. This is a leg of venison. And I've also been hunting and gathering with Mark and I've got some yabbies out of the dam. They're beautiful, aren't they? That's yeah. a nice size yabby. But I had to use them to make the uh, yabby bis to go with this venison. Mm. Uh, to do the venison mm. in, in lemon myrtle, so if you can put mm -hmm. the juice of half a lemon in there, right, just which in you've there already like squeezed, mm -hmm. yep, and if you can put about a tablespoon of lemon, the white wine, white vinegar, wine vinegar, right? Because all that uh, mm. lemon and acid... Yeah. About that? Yep. A bit more? No, that, that's about it. And two teaspoons with your fingers mm -hmm. of um, of brown sugar. You can also get a finer brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you can mix that. Mm -hmm. you're out. And while you're doing that, I'm just putting on my board some lemon myrtle. Smell the fragrance of that. That is oh, actually. Can you smell that at home? No. Anyway, <laughs> can I have some of that G Fresh salt and pepper? I love salt this. I love the grinders. Aren't they good? Aren't they fantastic? They're great. For, I'll put one of these in our picnic basket in the car. Did you get a tablecloth as well? No, no. no. What about the steak knives? No, steak knives. <laughs> That'd be appropriate. No, coming. Steak knives are coming. Okay. So you roll that in there like that. Yep, coat it with the lemon myrtle. Yeah, yeah. So what you do, I'm, I'm rolling it. I'm going to make it like a bonkey, just to the other side, like yeah, a bonbon. Yeah. And what we do, yeah, we're going to put it in the freezer because it's mm. easier to do capacho because mm. that's the actual recipe. Yeah. So that's what we do. So that's Go, cooking. That's cooking, searing, in mm. the freezer. And this is one... Oh. One I prepared earlier. One we, we, we prepared earlier. What we do mm. is slice it very thin. You sure it's cooked? It, it's cured. Capacho is, is raw meat. Oh, Marco, that's beautiful. Mm. Okay, there we that's go. stunning. Now, can I get you to decorate mm. it on the platter? And you asked me how to make the yabby bis. I yeah. use yabbies, uncooked yabbies, because you get more flavour with uncooked yabbies. Mm. I crushed them. I sweated them in a pan with uh, mm. with rosedale oil. Yeah. A bit of salt and pepper. Mm. And celery, then, I saw the celery yeah, there. Yeah, celery, carrots, um, onions, it's and I use lemongrass to get some of that flavour of lemongrass. Tomato paste. And then I let that go for about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. I strained it. Mm -hmm. I put it back to the heat, hit it again, mm -hmm. took it off the heat, and I whisked in four egg yolks and about 100 mils of cream. And there's your yabby Michael, bis. And there we are. Stunning. That beautiful bungaree yep. venison and uh, beautiful yabby bis. The yabby bis, yes. uh, it's, it's got no connection to that. To the capaccio. It, it, it complements it in a way. Yeah. It, I mean, you're not going to dip it in there, right? No, no, no you don't. Let no. me just try a bit. It's, it's very good, isn't it? Oh, it's come through, right? isn't it? You Michael, can taste that you, lemon but, it, but it's all in the preparation. And seriously, mm. he did prepare it very well. He's, he's very good. See you later. Mm. Back next time. Yep. To match Markle's venison capaccio, we've chosen the 2012 Killicanoon Mort's Reserve Watervale Riesling.